Welcome back to you. Sherry Bolton joins us now. She is the owner of the Culinary Co-op. Uh, Sherry, thank you so much for coming today. Oh, it's great to be here. Uh, well, we're so glad thank to you for have having you. me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I met Sherry at a gala recently. We got to talking about this incredible idea that she's put together in the Culinary Co-op and it's relatively new, but it's really taken off. Um, she's already getting interest from across the country, which is so exciting. Yes. Um, and I love this business, but I love the idea behind it more because it's all about, like you explained to me, promoting other small businesses, which I love because it's so selfless, allowing them to use your space, creating like a stepping stone into their success and collaborating and mentoring. So first of all, let's start with what is Culinary Co-op? Um, well, in short, the Culinary Co-op is just basically a shared kitchen space. Um, I've been in the culinary industry f since uh, 2005, so it was something that I felt like there was a need for in the Lubbock area. So I just decided to build it so I can give it back, and that was the whole preface of me building it was so I could help other oncoming entrepreneurs and culinary artists to have a, a safe space to to create their 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 goodies and right. their their items that they would like to promote because you can't just walk in and you know say I, I make say burritos at home and I mm -hmm. want to sell them you mm -hmm. have to have you know, licenses and certifications, right? Yes, there's there's definitely a process. You have to go through the exact same process as, as if you already had a storefront. So all of the permits and all of the certifications you would need, the general liability insurance to cover all of your equipment, you would still need all of that stuff. So that will help make the transition from getting everything set up initially into their own space when they're able to get to that point at right. some point. And I love it because you know, you've had a lot of interest, a lot yes. of dozens of people coming to you and mm -hmm. kind of talk about what, what that has been like as they come to you and the questions that they have and how you've been able to help. Well, first of all, when they walk in, they're just in awe of the <laughs> space. So um, they, they're just looking around. Uh, the front half is a classroom area. Uh -huh. So the culinary co-op has different facets. So the front end is kind of like a classroom area where anybody, chefs, cooks, anybody can come in and actually perform a class. Wow. And so, um, and those are mostly open to the public. Um, secondly, in the back, you have a full kitchen space, an open kitchen space where people can can go and and just you know that we've got fryers, we've got ovens, we've got cooktops, and just everything that they're going to need in order for them to, um, you know, get started in in the food industry. So when they come in um, and look at the space they're just already nodding their head like, wow, this is pretty cool. Yeah, they can see their own vision unfolding, yes. right? Yes, yes. Wow, um, mm -hmm. and so uh, this food, let's let's go ahead and dive in. What, what did you bring today? Okay, um, well, you know I didn't want to come empty-handed, <laughs> so. <laughs> this is actually part of the, the tailgate So idea. these are just some menu items that I created for the um, tailgate, uh, tailgates that we're going to be a part of this football season. We got invited to, to do that, to, to be a, one of the caterers. Mm -hmm. And so um, to the, 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 the dish closest to you is a sweet potato fry feta chips. Wow. So it's just dusted off with a little bit of uh, some seasonings that I put together, which includes like Parmesan and truffle. And then the second dish is um, just some chicken wings. You can't go go wrong with chicken wings, with, right? Yes, exactly. Everyone <laughs> has chicken wings. Right. Um, so I also did the kind of the same take because I kind of wanted to say with the same theme. Mm -hmm. um, I put a little bit of truffle seasoning and then also um, a little bit of Asian twist to it um, because I am from Thailand, so I have to incorporate a little bit of that. <laughs> and then on the um, the sauce, I did a honey sriracha wow. aioli and. Okay. If, if you bite into the wing, um, a lot of people, they don't even need the sauce, but the sauce is just there just in case they want a little, extra a little bit of extra. Yeah, it just yeah. takes it to the next level. Okay. And then here we have the famous um, bread pudding, mm. uh, which um, 
is requested by in and out foundation which they're they're coming up pretty soon um, their event is coming up pretty soon I, I believe it's august 13th and they they special requests this every time wow so um the the bread pudding this one is a brown sugar rum bread pudding uh with a butter rum sauce so wow. it's just a really simple dish to just to dive in and, and you can even add ice cream on top of it or just eat it just as is yeah um, and I'm excited for, for you know your future and the vision because we were talking about the fact that people from across the country have reached out, they've heard about your idea and mm -hmm. it's so innovative and new. Um, yeah. You're even getting calls about taking it nationwide. Yes, um, I've actually had a couple of people in the North Carolina area, the Louisiana area, um, reach out to me and you know when they saw my concept online through Facebook, um, wow, we need a, a space like this yeah. in our area. How can we make that happen? Was started thinking, well, why don't I think about franchising? Yeah. So I reached out to a franchise company. They did an initial investigation on my, on my business uh -huh. and went to my Facebook page and went to my website and everything. And initially, they are super excited about the concept. So we'll see where this takes us and you know, just kind of go from there. So we, we don't know what the future is gonna hold for yeah. us, but we're pretty excited about it. It's exciting yes. and it's inspiring. And that's why we have this magazine set up here because you'll be featured in Envoy Magazine. Also on the screen right now, we have an event um, that is coming up. Everyone is invited, the public's invited to the Culinary Co-op's um, customer appreciation. And yes. so there'll be food trucks and vendors mm -hmm. 11 to four. Uh, we're going to post this information online so that everybody can get involved. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. This is just amazing. So Thank we, you. We appreciate you Thank coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. All right. So we'll be right back.